so I can twist. Eight times four is cheek, get cheek, get no. That in like this, you flick at a camera mom. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Okay guys, we now have the Treasure Rex Sunken Gold Sharks Treasure. Now you're thinking, wait a second, didn't we already see these? You're absolutely right. It was in the green bottle. Oh. Everything good comes in green, but this was the gold plated shark and we already did a video on this. You wanna check it out, it's super cool. You can see the treasure hunter right there. He's overlaid in gold as well. Now when it comes to this right here, you can see that the shark has got a black top and then the treasure hunter is dressed in black. So what we had was a gold plated shark in the green and now we got the tiger shark in the yellow bottle. Now this is series five. A year later, even though they moved on to series six with the ninja gold, they're still reproducing part of the sunken gold, which is super cool. I mean, hey, tiger shark, gold plated shark, what's next? The hammerhead, I like a hammerhead. I like functionality, dual functionality. You know, you go, hey, treasure. So hey, you smash the bottle to open it up, right? Why not have a hammerhead shark where you can keep on smashing? Let's go ahead and actually take a look and see what it all entails. Treasure X sunken gold, will you find new gold dip treasure and there's a one in eight chance so we're hoping to find the gold first of all you're going to rescue the hunter that's inside the shark after you pull him out of his yapper his jaws of death you can dissect oh we're going to do a little bit of eighth grade dissection not of frogs but of sharks it's a stam thing and then you can ride him he's so once you cut him open he's supposed to be dead you can't ride a dead shark I'm thinking out loud. And it's the shark's treasure and you get exclusive hunter. So with this hunter, in every single one, you're gonna get the same hunter. He's gonna be dressed in black. You're gonna get the tiger shark where he's got the black plated up at the top, but we'll actually open up the bottle and you see that he looks like a tiger shark. And then at the top, you can see it's 16 levels of adventure fun. How about that top part right there, the corker? So you got X marks a spot cork doesn't come off a cork it doesn't and then over here you got the cool little skull and swords still pretty cool to look at and then at the bottom so you guys can see at the bottom you got a code there ws we'll go over that a little bit later and then on the back here you can see the 16 levels of adventure fun first of all you're going to take off the wrapper two you're going to pull out the cutter or the knife which you're going to wedge open the box in step three and then step four you're going to pull out the shark step five you're going to open his jaws do a little dental work and pull out that uh, victim inside of him and then you're going to take that knife, slice open his belly. Uh, number seven, you're going to go ahead and pull out the package inside, cut open the package in step eight. Step nine, you're going to find out what's in the package with some weapons. And then step 10, you're going to arm the shark. Step 11, you're going to saddle the shark. Yeehaw, cowboy. And then number 12, you're going to put the weapon on the side of the shark. You can actually fire a harpoon. And then 13, you're going to fill up part of the broken bottle with water. And then in 14, you're going to drop the treasure chest into the water. And then after a little bit of fizzy, it'll pop goes the hopefully in step 15 you'll get the gold coin otherwise you get some other common treasure and then step 16 you can go ahead and display it awesome and then let's not forget at the bottom here guys where we actually have the code there as well and so with the warning here only use tool provided to dissect shark do not use knife or scissors do not aim projectiles at eyes or face because once you arm the shark with that little harpoon and you flick it and it's still shooting out you know you just don't want to shoot anybody in the eyes caution keep ooze away from eyes ooze contains color which may stain some fabric so keep away from carpet Clothes, walls, and furniture. Contents in this package contains ooze, guar gum. Gum, don't let it fool you. It's not for chewing. It's just part of the, the genetic makeup of it. Do not use with sensitive or broken skin. Sink, chest contain fizzer. Supervise use of this product until the fizzer is fully dissolved. This product should not be given to children under three years of age. Dispose of dissolved solution after your use. Fizzer is an eye irritant. Avoid contact with ice before dissolving in water. Important, sort ooze in sealed container, which isn't included, so maybe use a Ziploc bag. Will prolong usable life. So please retain package details for future reference color and contents may vary now, this is interesting for best glow in the dark effect something in here that glows in the dark because i don't recall that this green bottle had anything that glowed in the dark guys so glad i read the uh, warning the boring part the part that educates you to keep you safe and curious about what is this glow in the dark for best glow in the dark effect charge object directly under a light source for at least 10 sec that's cool i wonder what's going to glow in the dark we're going to find out one in eight contains real gold dip treasure which is what we want but in addition to that we definitely want the shark and also the accessories the ooze treasure chest weapon figurine treasure chest and a map awesome so now i'm curious we didn't have anything glow in the dark and it doesn't tell you what glows in the dark okay guys let's go ahead and cut this open at the bottom you can see the perforations and a red arrow saying something or indicating that you want to take maybe your fingernail and just kind of tear along the perforations if you can there we go you may want to get a fork it might help just to tear that open but it's enough Cool. And then at the bottom, all you have to do is just kind of loosen this up if you don't want to tear the wrap around it so you can later secure the bottom of the plate to the 
shark's bottle here. There you go. Very nice. And then you can just go ahead and reconnect it. Good as gold. And then look up at the top. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, instead of red, they got a gold knife now, which is super cool. And then they got the map. And you can take a look at this. It's pretty cool. Last time you opened it up, it was in brown. And you can see the letters T and X. And I thought the A in there was tax. They're going to tax us if we find gold. And then one of you guys commented and saying, no, that's Treasure X. I'm like, oh, that's a cool little platform you can put your bottle back on. And it's got these little extensions here that go right to the holes so it fits right, snugly, wuggly. In any case, we'll pull that off. We got our map. Oh, it's got two sides of the map. You got an angry octopus that says, don't take my gold on one side. And you got all the different types of gold you can collect on the other side, which is kind of interesting because it says one in eight, you're going to find rare gold at Treasure. How many different golds can you collect? Well, first take a look at the map on the front here. First of all the golds you have diver doubloons and then you got punk pesos deep sea stash and plunder pounds i want to collect all of them actually already have <laughs> because this second gold series has been out for about a year now and they're just doing a remake here but just adding a different color to it and a different shark tiger shark same shark just different colors if you don't get the gold then you get one of these other common treasures like goldie ox and the angry angler fish treasure fish and gold claw super cool i like those and that's just on the front so what i'm thinking is like you have four different gold coins i mean how many of these would you have to plow through to collect all four? Because if it's one in eight, eight times four is 32. And so you have to theoretically get 32 of these and make sure that nobody touched the cases that they came in and tampered with it. And even then you're not guaranteed to collect all four because you could get like out of four in the 32, two of them could be the same, like diver doubloons, and then you're still missing the other um, one. And then you'd have a total of three. So it's just a numbers games, guys. <laughs> At least you can narrow it down if we can get the code here and find out, hey, this contains real gold dip treasure. Now that's the front on the back. You got the steps you can go through as we just basically went over. It goes over again, the diver doubloons, deep sea steps, Dash, plunder pounds, punk pesos, and there we go. Right there, guys. It says it right there. Collect all four glow in the dark treasures. The gold doesn't glow in the dark, right? I wouldn't assume not. I wish they'd be more specific. And come on, which is the real treasure here, guys? Is it the gold or is it the common treasure? So what's super cool with these guys is they actually glow in the dark. And besides the other ones that we got in the green bottle, uh, they didn't glow in the dark. At least it didn't say so, so we didn't check. But hey, super cool, guys. So you're not out. If you get these guys, they at least glow in the dark. Now we just take out our knife. Looks like a little bit of a nice harpoon there. A little bit of edge. Grab and pull them out. And it says right up at the top, go ahead and stick your knife right in there. The uh, little sticker marks the spot. So I'm supposed to put it in there and maybe far enough so I can twist. Oh, that was cool. It's like one of those Pillsbury Doughboy cans, you know, when you want to bake some cinnamon rolls and it just pops, you know. Have the same effect. All right, totally. And so cool. We go ahead and take the plastic, pull it off. And there's your tiger shark right there, guys. So does that look like a tiger? I like it, a tiger. Of course, tiger sharks look like this. They do this. Look it up. Look on Wikipedia. They look, they have colors like this, orange and black. So it makes them a tiger shark. Oh, look, you got your little harpoon in here, your little poker. There you go. You want to make sure you keep that. So we'll put that down here. And then what's step two? Right there. Step two says you want to pull back his fin. But you know, before we do that, let's take a look at our tiger shark because we found on the last shark in the green bottle, they had some little, like here, look at his tail there. You see the face, you see the eyes. It looks like he's got some teeth there. So it looks like there's a face right there. It's just kind of fun, like, where's Waldo? Kind of reminds me of that cartoon where where's Waldo during COVID and socially distancing, where he's easier to find because he can't stand there, everybody. And you're finding other things, and there's a little X right there, maybe for X marks the spot, treasure X. I mean, so we found a lot of these cool little things, and oh, look, there's this gold skull right there, super cool. And so it says right here that you want to grab him, and you pull his fin to open up his jaw. And there he is. Oh, there we go. Now we just pull him right out or give him a vigorous shake. Uh... Oh man, he's hard to get out. He's not coming out. Oh, I guess I had to turn him on the side because if I kept pulling this way, his shoulders were too broad. And I couldn't get him out. Now I have to pull him on, there we go. Okay, we'll fix him. Oh, look. Subscribe. Oh, and like. There's your little dude right there, your little hunter. So the previous hunter had the gold plate. Now he's got the dark plate here, armor, suit, deep sea diving suit. Oh, he's a cool little hunter to collect. Hey, at least when you get one of these, you're part of the collection here. So there was step two, we'll pull that sticker off. And then we're step three, right at the bottom here. Cool, we need to cut this open and be able to pull out his inner goo guts. 
So camera mom notices little code 06. We're paranoid now about codes. We see any numbers, anything. What does it mean? Because when we did the Ninja Gold, we got to the little uh, board that you karate chopped. They actually had numbers on there that indicated if it was gold in there. I mean, you're right there anyways. Might as well crack it open. But before you open it, you know, it has some codes. It always began with HH when you find gold. Go ahead and watch that video on Ninja Gold. It was super cool when we found gold. And we had the numbers down pretty much of where you could find the gold. We'll see if we find gold in this one. That'd be super cool. Let's go ahead and give his belly a slice. Maybe cut this way just go straight down the middle oh man it's just hard i wonder if i can just once i get a slice i can just tear it with my fingers kind of gets a little bit easier maybe no it requires a little bit more cutting well it's not easy and i'm pulling off his whole belly is it enough okay we'll pull a little bit back on the belly and then we'll slice it there we go and so parents, you know what? This is great for STEM research, you know? Instead of doing one of those dead frogs, as we used to do in grade school, you know, kind of the same thing. Although you're not gonna see a heart, you're gonna find gold. <laughs> you ain't gonna find that in any frog unless he swallowed some. So there we go. We pull out the package. Anything else in here? Oh yeah, our treasure chest. Don't forget the treasure chest. So you used to be able to do a test, you know, because the excitement of opening up, why wait when you can like shake, get, shake, get. So if you heard something rubbery in there and you can hear it because that fish, that goober fish is made out of rubber, you know, so you kind of heard a rubbery sound. But if you heard like something plasticky, then you know you got gold. I don't know. That's kind of like a mix. That could be the plastic with the gold shaking inside. Cameraman says it sounds like gold. I used to be able to hold it up to light, but man, it's so dense inside, I can't see a thing. I think their chests are darker. You can't see through it at all. They're cheating me out of my presupposition of me investigating before I actually open it up. I'm not one for surprises a whole lot, but let's go ahead and wait on the gold here. And see, there's the package, there's the dotted line. So you go ahead and pinch and pull and oh, and there's the goo. Here comes everything out. Oh, that's snotty goo, it's really snotty. And it'll stick to your fingers if they're dry. So if you dip your fingers in water, this uh, goo won't stick to it, or the slime. Now that was brilliant that they actually put the hat in the plastic because when they did the green bottles, they didn't put it in plastic. So you got the snot in here and you're sitting there trying to blow it out. And if you weren't good enough, you accidentally inhaled, you got some of the snot in you. So you're not supposed to, anyways, it's good that they put this in here. Oops. We got the handlebars for the tricycle. Oh, it's for tiger shark. And then we got the harness to harness to the tiger shark. Oh, wow. And this stuff, it's like oily ink. You know, that would be more for like a squid, right? Okay, you wanna see how inky that is? Ink a dink a bottle of ink, all the current you stink. Not because you're pretty, not because you're clean, because you kissed a girl behind a magazine. Ugh. That reminds me of Venom. Spider-Man, this is the ooze that surrounds him. It's like, and he turns into some. That's pretty cool. I really like your black ink. And it, they say it does stain, so, you know. Don't put it anywhere and let it dry into the carpet because, oh man, that's just a pain. So keep it on the paper plate table if you want to be cautious, but it's kind of fun to play with. I've never seen slime that dark and light doesn't even escape it. it just gets, sucks right into it. It's the black hole. Let's go ahead and suit up our shark. So let's pull this. Now, there's the harness and the way it's supposed to go. So you see the larger part of the, the opening of the harness to the shark. It's like I got a boogie on my finger and I can't get it off. So you got the larger part that goes up the fin, the smaller part down to the littler fin. So you want to go from the bottom and come up and go right like this. See, it fits just bootomously. So now you harness the shark. I guess you can put the handlebars on for the tricycle right here and then it snaps right into place. And then he goes inside of it. His little feet go in there. They fit, and then he's supposed to grab the handlebars, which I've always found a little bit difficult to put them on, but hey, that's just part of the fun. It might be easier to put the handlebars in his hands first before you put them on here. Oh, there he goes. So we'll put the handlebars in his hands first, like that, and then we'll try to get the handlebars in there now, and then we'll move his feet into position. Okay, that's a better way to go. Yeehaw, right in cowboy. Oh, and then on the side, you're going to take this little hickey of a do hickey. You're going to put it right in there because that's where you're going to lock and load. Oh, you know what? Let's turn it around this way. Maybe that's got a larger opening on this side, it looks like. So we'll put that in like this. And then what you do to fire it is you take your finger and you just flick it, okay? So you flick it at camera mom. Yay! Blast away. We're going to find Nemo there. Just that little guppy. Get him with the big harpoon. Super cool. And he's just lapping it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. He's got his bull nose here and grab him by the nose there. People think it's such a nice, cool thing when you got to ring up your nose, but that's how they guided cattle around. You pull them on the nose, they'll go wherever you want to go, you know. 
So awesome, guys, should we see what kind of uh, what kind of treasure we have? Let's go ahead, we're supposed to fill this up with water so we can do the plop, plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. Cause we found gold, woo! Now this isn't gonna cut through this plastic, you know what? This fork will do a, a nice enough job to pierce it. Just don't slide and gouge your finger out. That's not good. <sighs> Looking for gold's a lot of hard work. Yeah, that seems like darker. I can't really see through that, so I couldn't tell you if I got gold or not. It just doesn't sound like gold. Okay, guys, do we get a common treasure that glows in the dark or the gold? Let's go ahead and put it in here. Three, two, one. He's right there. Hey, we got a glow in the dark floaty fish. It's a goober fish. What kind of fish? It's a glow in the dark fish. It's a treasure fish. Super cool. And it's supposed to glow in the dark. He doesn't look happy being caught or being trapped in there, but he's happy out that he's out now. That's awesome. And I love how that thing just fizzed until it finally popped off. They improved their fizzies here, guys, in this treasure chest. There's the chest right there where he came out of. So they had a little bit of a tape that dissolves in water. Once the tape dissolves, this thing pops open and it goes up and there's a little bit of color fizz in here just to give it the special effect. Okay guys, now we're gonna open up this one. We're now looking for the gold. So hopefully with the couple that we have left, we'll find the gold. I think they threw us for a loop. collecting all glow-in-the-dark goober fishes. Yeah, no gold, because it's got that same, because feel that. So when we shook these over in the green bottles, guys, they were totally rubber and gummy. These are like hard. And so when you shake it, it sounds like it might be a plastic ball in there that contains the gold, but nope, it's this thing. And it sounds like it, because it's, it's very hard. It's not as soft as those other uh, goober fish that we saw in the green bottles. So no gold there. Here we go. Now the water's getting a little bit more murky. Hey, float at the top. Here you come out, another fish. Same one. Huh, maybe the codes that we were looking at will give you these two kinds of treasure fish. <laughs> cool. what are the odds? Okay, no gold, guys. Not yet. We got one left. That one came out easy. Oh, it's already oozing out. Look at that. Oh, there's the guts of the real shark. It's black ooze. That's gold. That's gold, guys. That's gold. You know, I'll tell you something really weird about this, guys. Do not listen to us. <laughs> That's probably the best advice you'll get. Look guys, generally speaking, you go through all these like treasure X stuff, you look at it and when you go through a case and you have like 12 or 20 and you look at all the codes and if there's one or two codes that was different, almost nine times out of 10, that was the gold. See that guys, that little part right there, little plastic clear part, that's the part that dissolves in the water. So once it dissolves, it opens up the lid and once it opens up the lid, then you find what? Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. It's a goober fish, so I was wrong. I was wrong. Man, I don't like it when they do this, because then I can't tell them what to look for. It sounds all the same, because that plastic. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. So it's gonna be a different fish, because the old seven's gonna get us a different fish. And it is, what one? It's the angry angler fish. Yeah, because we got the treasure fish, gold cloud. Now we're only missing is goldie ox. So every time you see a different like number here, 05, 06, 07, I guess 08 is the last one. If we see something that's not an 08 and it's just got a different number, then we know the gold. But by then it's too late because you have to open it up anyways. Okay, well, here's the 08. This is going to be goldie ox. It's going to be... We got the others right. Their pattern's too strong to miss it. Yep. Goldie ox. Okay guys, we're now charging up the glow in the dark common treasure and I'm using a black light because it charges them up a lot faster and they last a lot longer. And we'll do this in three, two, one. Yeah, cool, look at that, they glow. <laughs> That's awesome. And they start to fade away. Bye bye. Okay guys, we think we found the gold. We opened up quite a few of them, but the problem is, is we couldn't find what, where the gold was at until after we opened it because they had different serial numbers, but the two that we had that were different, no gold. And the ones that we had a lot of with the same serial number, well, we think we found one in here. And the reason being is because even though we haven't opened it yet, is if the sharks would please present themselves. Whoi! Look at their bellies. Whoi! 
You see the number in the upper left-hand corner or your right-hand corner on the bellies here, see that? We have the eight, we have a seven, we have a six, and we have a five. Okay, so whenever you see those numbers, eight, seven, six, five, for the H, you're gonna get Goldilocks. There's Goldilocks there. For the sevens, you're gonna get Angry Anglerfish. And then for the sixes, you're gonna get the Treasure Fish. And then for the fives, you're gonna get Gold Claws. And for this one, the reason why we think this is not any of these, why it's gold, is because, let's crack it open. Because look at the number right there. Oh, sure, it's got a five in it. Yeah, it could be that, but it's also got a three. 22, 34, 53. Hey, hey, we got gold. Woo! Okay, maybe I'm like a little bit excited. We haven't really gotten them yet, but let's find out, guys. 53, you see this? Is it gonna get us gold? That's the thing is, you cut too deep and you pierce the bag with the black ooze. Okay, 53, let's give it a shake and see if we hear anything different. That's different. It's not as rattly. It's like something big, like a ball's in there that's preventing it from a lot of movement. So that's the ball that contains our gold. Let's find out. We're not gonna edit this, no. You're gonna suffer with me. Uh, one wrapper at a time because they layer it in two wrappers. There's the first wrapper. Oh, the suspense. Oh, the slipping. Oh, that's causing more waste of time. <laughs> I'm not editing this out, no. We're pretending it's live. Can't edit when it's live. That's, that sounds a little bit more plasticky to me, guys. So in three, two, one, 53, what do you have for us? That's so slow. It's gone! Woo! Yes. Camera mom found number 53. Guys, there's the bobble, the bobble. Yes, and who do we get? The gold that we find in here, guys, with the sunken gold, that whole series, when you find it, you got four different pieces you can collect from. Let me go ahead and crack it. They're super cool. It's not one common treasure. And what makes it cool is because it's double-sided. On one side, who do we get? We got some cheesy smiling guppy there. He's Plunder Pounds. Now what's cool about this is, is because that's one side of the gold coin. The other side reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, what you'd probably normally see maybe on gold or something that looks super cool. You got the skull and cross swords, which is exactly what you see right here, right? Or kind of close. But this guy's wearing a hat. He's wearing a bandana. So super cool, guys. We found our gold. Sweet. We can't really say with no certain clarity at all that the serial numbers are going to work for us because <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> But what was interesting in the two serial numbers that were different from all the other seven, eight, or however many we opened was the ones that the first ones that we opened was the Angry Angler Fish. Super cool, guys. Did it. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.